Hello friends and welcome back to Generation Pixel and if you're new to the channel well you have picked a splendid time to pop along because you see last night Sony absolutely hit it out of the park with their 2021 showcase. They revealed so many games well I'm absolutely drooling here waiting to get my hands on them. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to do my top 5 and maybe some honourable mentions of the games that were announced last night and we're going to see them all after these titles. Ok so before we get into the top 5 list, the final countdown of the games that I am truly looking forward to seeing coming from this showcase last night, let's talk about some honourable mentions. Now you're going to be surprised because the first honourable mention is going to be God of War Ragnarok. Now I know there's probably a lot of people screaming at the screen, why is that not number 1? Well quite simply I didn't quite get on with the game God of War when it was released. Now I don't know whether that was a fact of me not being in the right place or the right headspace at the time to play that game or not and I will go back to it because I know people who are watching this will probably comment down below that you've got to play this game and give it its due. But I will, I'll get around to it but as a just an honourable mention at the moment for me because as I said I didn't quite get into it at the time. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. What if there was someone who could help us? Now another honourable mention for me is going to be Tiny Tina's Wonderland because I'm not a huge Borderlands fan but I did enjoy the games but they weren't like top tier for me. But the fact that they're mixing this whole Dungeons and Dragons-esque sort of, I don't know, atmosphere into the game and all been played through the eyes of Tiny Tina who is one of the most, well, if you can say eccentric characters in a very eccentric game then you get the picture, so an eccentric game with a Dungeons and Dragon looter shooter theme, I mean what's not to like but it's not in my top 5, it's an honourable mention and it's still one that I'm looking forward to seeing. Fate. It soars on the wind. It rises from the grave. It stalks the ocean floor. You cannot hide from fate. But you can make your own. The last of the honourable mentions, well that's going to be for Spoken and that's purely because of the graphics. This game has been touted since, well, before the release of the PlayStation 5, through other names of course, but now looking at it, it's almost fully developed and it just looks stunning. Now, a stunning looking game doesn't make a great game, but you know what, it's one to look forward to and hopefully one that will properly show off the power of the PlayStation 5. What? what? Is that a motherfucking dragon? Is it gone? Yes, and we should leave this place as well. Okay, so here's the top five. My top five from last night's Sony showcase. And we're going to come in at number 5 with none other than the Uncharted remaster for the PlayStation 5. And the simple reason I'm going with Uncharted at number 5 is, well, it was the first game or one of the first games I remember playing on the PlayStation 4 that my jaw actually hit the ground when I was looking at the graphics. I actually spent some time in the photo mode which is something that I really to never do. But this game was just so stunning and it was the first one that actually said to me, yeah, we've had a leap in graphics here and things are going to get so much better in the future. So at number five, we've definitely got Uncharted the Remaster, which also comes along with the Lost Legacy Remaster. So two games back to back, remastered, I am all in for that, absolutely. Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Oh crap! Everyone obsessed with this treasure gets what they deserve. A 
Are you ready to seek your fortune? Now, number four, well, this is this was a bit of a shock to me because I've obviously not been keeping my ear to the ground. I didn't know if this was in the works or not. I don't know if anyone else knew if this was in the works or not. But Alan Wake, Alan Wake on a PlayStation, a Sony PlayStation getting Alan Wake. Now, the reason it's number four and quite high and higher than the likes of, you know, God of War and that is quite simply because as a Sony pony, yes, I'm a proud Sony pony. I have nothing against Microsoft at all and Xbox. I am looking forward to getting into those games and that system. But at the moment, I'm mostly Sony and I've never owned an Xbox. So... This was one game, a cult game, that I'd never get around to playing and I am absolutely champing at the bit, as we would say in Scotland, to get my hands in this game because it has such a cult following amongst the, the Xbox fans and, and now Sony fans, us Sony ponies, are going to get a crack at Alan Wake and I absolutely can't wait to see what this game delivers. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it. With it, I could save myself. I could save Alice. Carl Stucky, pleased to meet you. My name is Alan Wake. Coming in at my number three spot is going to be Wolverine. Another Insomniac game, another Insomniac Marvel game, and I just can't wait to get my claws onto that because. Let's face it, they've done such a good job with Spider-Man, both the first game and Miles Morales, that, that surely they can't make a, a mess of this now. I doubt with, you know, Marvel being owned by Disney that we're going to get the, the full-on blood and guts that you might get from a Wolverine game, or that you, you might like from a Wolverine game, but it's going to be special, I have no doubt about it now. And the only reason it's number three is because, well, I haven't seen the game yet, I haven't seen any sort of real footage yet so I'm biding my time I'm waiting patiently just to see if this game's going to live up to the expectations that I have for it and hopefully it will but it definitely deserves to be at number 3 of last night's announcements And the number two spot, well, that's quite simply going to be Spider-Man 2. Oh my goodness, can't wait for it. I love Miles Morales, I love the first game. They, they play so beautifully, it's unbelievable. Insomniac have done such good work with this series of games now. And they're definitely not going to mess up the next one. No, there's no way that a new Spider-Man game with both Spider-Man and Miles Morales and of course Venom in it is going to be anything short of spectacular. So without a doubt, it's a solid place in my number two and probably quite surprising that it's not in my number one list, but of course, Spider-Man, it's solid. We've seen it before and there was something else coming up that was, well, going to take that number one spot from this showcase. But Spider-Man with Venom, Miles Morales, is going to be a winner. For as long as I can remember, I have looked for an equal. One who could push me. One who could surprise me. One who could even beat me. Yet all I found is disappointment. Will one of you finally give me what I desire? Yes, we will. Now, for 
for the part that we're all waiting for, the part that I'm waiting to reveal and that's my number one game from last night's showcase. And you know what? It's another Xbox exclusive that's coming over to, to Sony Ponyland and that is quite simply Knights of the Old Republic Remastered. Now I, well again, my jaw dropped when I saw this announcement because obviously I've not been keeping up with the news and I should be because surely people knew about this. I certainly didn't know that this was going to be released for a Sony console, but to see it released for a Sony console, well, I am completely and utterly gobsmacked and I can't wait to play it. Not only a huge Sony pony, but also a huge Star Wars fan, you might guess from the Jedi tattoo there and maybe some of the paraphernalia up there as well. But what can I say, we're finally as Sony fans going to be able to play Knights of the Old Republic a remastered Knights of, our, of the Old Republic on our own PlayStations and well I just can't wait and what a game and what a length of time to wait to play this game so let's hope it's just as spectacular as we've all built it up in our minds. That is what the Sith believe. They promise power. Now they wield it. We face the greatest Sith in generations. They must be stopped. So there you have it my friends, that was my top 5 games and a couple of honourable mentions from last night's showcase from Sony and what a selection of games I've put out for us now. If you want to talk about my top 5, if you want to maybe mention your top five from the showcase if you're at all interested in it then put it down in the comments because you know what I love chatting to you guys about everything gaming and this was it was quite a special night especially for us Sony ponies and of course if you've enjoyed this video well why don't you throw me a thumbs up on the way out because you know what it makes a great deal of difference to the channel but more importantly it makes a great deal of difference to me too knowing that you guys actually enjoy the content that I put out and if you want to see more videos like this and the other stuff that I put out, well, the subscription button, it's always there, it's always free, and you can always change your mind too. So, thank you very much for watching this short video, and until next time, cheerio!